You're listening to the Motivated Mindset Podcast with Bobby Stein. Hello, guys, and welcome into another episode of the Motivated Mindset Podcast. And uh, we are coming to you today, as usual, from the sunny confines of southwest Florida, where yesterday, we, two days ago, we had Hurricane Nicole blow through without event and without issue. But that was on the heels of Hurricane Ian, which kind of devastated the area and uh, left a lot of people shell-shocked to this Nicole that came through. But fortunately, nothing's happened and we fared fairly well, so thankfully for that. But uh, today's episode is brought to you by our friends at Von Baron Motorcycle. VonBaronMotorcycles.com. Give them a visit. You'll be glad you did. And thanks so much, Von Baron. We really appreciate the service you provide and the support to the channel, so thank you. Today, I would like to talk to you and discuss um, a a little bit about discipline and how it uh, applied to a story when I first got into bodybuilding and uh, the importance of discipline. And I've always been a gym rat, or at least I started to lift weights in uh, in, uh, high school as an insecure teenager, as many uh, insecure kids do, right? They want to put on some muscle. So fast forward to adulthood, I was age 39 to be exact, and I was working out at a club here in Southwest Florida, and this new fella uh, had walked into the gym, had not recognized him before, and he was big and he was fit, and and so I introduced myself, and we got to speaking with one another, and as it turns out, he was from Cincinnati, Ohio, and he wanted to start a personal training business down here. So after about a week of talking, he said, hey, Bobby, have you ever uh, considered doing a bodybuilding show? And I said, not really. Why? He said, well, I can lay out a plan for you, a dietary plan. And if you follow that that prescription, he said, you've got the work ethic, you've got the frame, and I think you could do admirable when you step on stage like 18 weeks down the road. I said, that's cool, but uh, what, wh- where's the rub? <laughs> what's, the, what's the caveat? And uh, he said, discipline. I said, no, no, really, what's the cost? And he said, really discipline and and there's no financial cost I said what do you mean he said well because I'm starting uh, this new business into the new into the area he says I need walking talking living testimonials like a guinea pig and when you people start to notice the transformation in your physique and your body composition they're gonna want to ask how you did it and when they do so just send them my way I'd really appreciate it which I thought was brilliant marketing by the way um, brilliant actually you don't go up to a stove and say heat you got to turn the knob on first, right? You got to put in logs into the fire, stoke the fire to prepare the top, to prepare your meal. And it's the same with a new venture. You don't just expect clients to fall out of the sky. And so by doing testimonials that in that regard, he was able to uh, start a business. And um, much to my benefit, I really appreciated it. So what's that got to do with discipline? Well, it's got everything to do with discipline because I realized that without it, I was not going to reach my goal of stepping on stage and I did not want to let this individual down and I didn't want to let myself down so more about that in a second as we jump into the post office real quick and we're back no mail is good mail and nobody writes letters anymore it's like a lost art you know when I remember to and I think about it I'll write hand write a thank you card when I remember and it's just such a great touch to get a, a handwritten thank you note in the mail. So have to remember to do that more often. So he's discipline has everything to do with it because for me, he had me on a plan of eating six to seven times a day, high protein. He would tweak the carbs. He would tweak the macros, the the fats, the the car, the, uh, the protein, the carbohydrates, and then every. 21st meal, 24th meal, I'd get a cheat, right, where I could have a piece of, slice of pizza or something, which was super welcome. But I would uh, struggle. I mean, I needed this discipline, right? I had a goal to achieve, and it required discipline, and there were so many times that I wanted to stop and just have a cheat meal in between my cheat meal, and uh, I kept questioning, you know, is the wear and tear on the chicken's ass really worth the price of this egg (laughs) but I wanted to remain true to myself I wanted to remain true to uh, my word and not let this individual down and I didn't want to let a short-term appetite a cheat meal for for instance wreck a long-term feast me stepping on stage and doing admirable in a bodybuilding show 16 18 weeks later uh, 
I go out, I get a man thong, <laughs> a man bikini, and uh, I get the, the posing routine, the tan, and I step on stage and uh, I do well. I, I garner a second place, to, uh, or first place rather, first place in my first show, got, sec got a second place overall, and I was feeling good about myself, the achievement, the accomplishment, this discipline that I had employed, it really paid fruits and dividends, and I thought next week I was going to, uh, two weeks later I would enter the Florida State Bodybuilding Championships. You know, I'd, I had arrived. Enter the show, it's a regional show, lots of competition, very stiff. Set, uh, nine competitors in my division, I get smoked, <laughs> I get humbled, and uh, which was great, and uh, I got a seventh place. But, um, you know, the, the discipline that it required to get that goal done was, was huge. And without the discipline, I, you know, I just, I just have no direction, and it's so important. Uh, you know, I'm going to the gym right now, I don't feel like going to the gym. It's Saturday morning, had a happy hour last night, and uh, it's the last thing I feel like doing. But discipline gives me drive, and, and it gives me uh, stability and routine. And uh, whatever I set my mind to, discipline is the roadmap and the tool in which I employ to get there. So there's a guy that I interviewed. His name's Luke Dupron, and he has a web page. I think it's Live Great Lifestyle, Live Great Style. Check him out on Instagram, and um, he we were having this interview when we were discussing discipline. And what he does, he's a coach, an online coach, and he helps busy executives, entrepreneurs, businessmen, and women lose 20 pounds in three months period. And he's excellent at what he does. And what he's found was, he said, in relation to discipline, he said, you know, a lot of guys will say, at the beginning of New Year, New Year's resolution, for instance, they say, I'm going to lose X amount of weight. I'm going to change my physiology and improve my physique. They'll, they'll, they'll embark on like 75 hard or some other program, which is a lot to bite off. And then they, they fail. And then year over year over year, they fail. And then they, they lose, you know, they lose all the credibility and um, in, within themselves. So he sets up minimum guaranteed boundaries. Meaning, if you're a busy executive, we're going to set up this minimum guarantee. You have to do this, whether it be as something as small as walking around the block for 15 minutes three times a day. No matter what's going on in your busy schedule, um, of you know, if you got the phone call, you're not going to take the meeting. You're not going to take the phone call. At the end of the day, you needed to have walked that 15 minute and set up that guaranteed minimum standard, and it sets up accountability and credibility and integrity within oneself. For instance, if you had a friend uh, who you invited out to dinner and he stood you up, you would think that'd be kind of odd and, uh, you know, maybe give you a pause to invite him out a second time, but you do because you're a good guy and he's a good friend, but he stands you up again. Well, chances are that there's not going to be a third time. You're just going to go your own separate ways and not, or not ask him out to dinner anymore. Well, that's the same with discipline in our own routine. When we set a goal as a New Year's resolution or something along those lines and we fail to execute on that goal and we fail to do so over and over, our, it erodes our integrity and our credibility and subconsciously and then we do not feel like going through with the process. So I would encourage everybody setting out and embarking on a goal or a vision or a project to set minimum guaranteed standards by where you achieve something that you say you're going to do. Keep your word. Keep your word to yourself. Be accountable to yourself. I have to. I mean, there's so many times where I feel like not feeling like it. And, you know, I, I want to hold myself to that because I want to know that I can trust myself and trust that I, I trust the process that I put in place that I'm going to see it through to its end. Plus the end fruit, the reward at the end of the day or at the end of the, the mission, the project, when it comes to pass, it's awesome. So I take that same very discipline throughout many bodybuilding uh, trips and careers, and you know I, I still do it to this day. I'm uh, I'm in the old man's division, but uh, in 27 days I am turning 60 years old, and my wife, my beautiful bride, has purchased two tickets aboard uh, Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady, Richard Branson's new cruise line. We've never been on a cruise before, so about 16 weeks ago. I was woefully out of shape, and I said, let me embark on this plan again, which I'm doing, and I've lost probably about 10 pounds, got another three to go, and it's in another 27 days, so I want to show up on 
deck at, by the pool and board shorts looking respectable. So it's discipline's going to get me there. And I'm very excited for that. So I hope you were encouraged or, you know, at least you got a little insight into discipline and this how it, uh, how it uh, applied to this particular story, uh, one segment of, of my fitness life. And if you, if you liked it, like it. <laughs> Greatly appreciate it. Again, this episode has been brought to you by our friends at Von Baron Motorcycle. Pay them a visit, vonbaronmotorcycles.com. You will be glad you did. Great offerings, great service. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And please, as always, take care.